Hello everybody and welcome to my tutorial of how to put applications and games on your Zune. Um, as all of you probably know, all you Zune owners, the Zune doesn't come with a clock. And it doesn't come with games or anything like that, but XNA Studios is a program that you can use to put those things on. Um, so let's get started here. Um, first of all, this episode was brought to you by ftgradio.blogspot.com. This is me and KJ, mine and KJ's podcast. I'm Schwan, he's Joe Raffi. Alright, now let's get into it. <sighs> Alright, first thing you want to do is, I'll, and first off, don't worry about all these websites I'm going to. I'm going to post them in the description on YouTube so you can just click on them and you'll, you'll be set. So the first thing, the very first thing you want to do is you want to go to the first link in my description of, in the YouTube and you want to download Visual C Plus 2008 Express. Okay, or excuse, not Plus, 2000, Visual C Number 2008 Express. And it's this green box right here. And you click the download button. Now the only thing I can say about this is it takes forever. Not to download, the installation. So just make sure you have some time before you do this. Um, I'd say it took me about 45 minutes. Alright, so after you're done downloading that, you need another program, and this will be the second link in the video description. And this is the XNA Studio software 3.0. Hit download. It doesn't take nearly as long to install. The download's fine, but the installation takes uh, 20 minutes. Alright, I, I have no idea. Just guess. Alright. So now they have those two things installed, you'll have these two, or not installed, downloaded, you'll have these two setups here. This one's for XNA, as it says XNA in the first part, and this one's visual, because it says visual, and then visual C setup. Alright, pretty straightforward. You want to click on visual C setup, you want to install it, and the only thing I have to say about that is when you're done installing, it prompts you to restart your computer, do it. Why not? Just do it open it back up and um, it didn't make a shortcut or anything on my computer so I was like oh my god where's Visual C whatever so I just clicked the little start menu down here and pressed start and then I went C with a little number sign and then it came up and then I clicked on it so in case you need to do that I don't know but when you first open it it's gonna say or when you're installing it or when you first open it both times it's gonna say this needs a registration code and it also says that it's giving away free registration codes. So in the installation, just pass right through that stuff. But when you actually open it, click on. Make sure you click on the help. Um, here I'll just show you. You'll want to open the program. You won't have this yet, not quite. You want to click on help, and then register product, and then follow the links to get a free um, registration code. You, ha you do have to sign in with your Windows Live ID, so if you have a gamer card or, or you have a Zune, so that means you have a Zune card, so you can log in with your Zune name. Okay, and then so now you have those two things installed. So what you want to do is, now you want a clock, right? Alright, so this is going to be the third link on the list, and this is a list of applications. Uh, let's see, what site is this? Zune Rama? Alright. So you want to click that link, and it's going to take you here. This is to Zoom boards, okay? Now you want to find the download link, and I happen to know that it's right here. So let's download the URL. Actually, hold on, let's take a little second. This is what it's going to look like on your Zoom. Alright. Alright, so there, alright, here's the download. You want to do the very last one, because that's the most recent version. I want to click download and um, save it hit OK it's gonna download it takes no time at all but I just really don't feel like downloading it again okay so what I did was I had a zip file and I put it um, into a new folder I called that folder clock and I and here's the zip file and what I did was I I just clicked I'm using Winwar I don't really know how else you would do this just grab the trial version of WinRAR or something. WinRAR, W-I-N-R-A-R, and click Extract here. 
Alright, well, I already have all this stuff, so that's what it'll be fine for you, don't worry. And it'll show up with this folder that says clock. You want to click into that, and you'll see that C plus, um, that C number sign thing. And what I want you to notice for now is that this is a really small application because all it is is a clock. So there's only one file. Um, when you're downloading games, it gets a little more tricky. There's a bunch of files that look just like this, and it can get a little bit confusing, but we'll go into that later. Okay, so now that you extracted your zip file, and it's just waiting there to go on your Zoom, you open up that C number, C vision, oop, Camtasia, no. Alright, you open up Visual C, I gotta remember that name. Okay, so now, what you want to do is... You want to hit Tools, Add New Device, and of course you're doing this for the Zoom, so you're going to click on Zoom. Oh, my bad. My Zoom is not plugged in. Um, okay. You want to click on Tools. Oh, gosh. Tools. What's going on? Alright, Tools. Oh, I should have had my Zoom plugged in before this, guys. Sorry. Let me open it again. <laughs> Make sure you have your Zoom open before this. Alright. Tools. Add new device. Zoom, of course. It's going to find your Zoom. My Zoom's name is James because I'm very conceited and I name all my electronics after myself. Just kidding. Alright, you're going to next. And it's going to a Zoom device with that name already exists. That's because I already did this. It'll work for you. It'll be fine. Don't worry. Alright, now what you want to do is, as you can see, I already have a bunch of games, Tetris, and the calendar, and the clock. Um, but what you want to do is, you want to hit File, Open Project, and remember that new folder we made? Then we called it Clock. Click in there, click in there. Remember that program? Remember how I said it was going to get tricky if it was a game? Well, I'll just explain that now. So, there's only one project file that works to be put on your Zoom. So, you want to right click on the project that you think is the right one. You hit properties, and you want to see this. You want to see the extension SLN in parentheses right here. SLN. That's how you know it's the right file. Alright, so we're going to open that as a project. It's going to appear over here and over here once it does its thing. Okay. Alright, so now the clock's over there and over there. Now, don't touch anything, don't do anything, just go to Build and Deploy Clock. Once you click on that, okay, it's going to send that program, that file, to your Zune, and your Zune's going to go into this XNA mode, and it's just going to be a black screen, and it's going to tell you what files it's dumping onto your Zune. Nothing to worry about. And when it's finished, it's just going to have a text saying connected. At that point, you can take out your um, USB connection to the Zune. And you go down, and you'll notice something. You'll notice one thing. It takes a little bit longer for your Zune to load up. I don't know if that's temporary or not, but it really doesn't bug me too much. And you, you'll go down, and you'll see that in between podcast and settings, or settings and podcast, is a new... Um, section to the Zune which is called games. Um, it doesn't matter if it's an application or a game it's gonna be called games. So you're gonna click into games and then you're gonna see the clock. You're gonna see um, let me get into my Zune real quick. You're gonna click on games. You're gonna see Zune clock 1.5 with a little icon of a clock there. And then you're gonna see a little Zune icon. with It's gonna flash in the corners a bit. And then you're going to see the time, and chances are the time is probably wrong, so just keep clicking right on the uh, zoom pad on your zoom, and or actually first click in the middle and then keep clicking right, and eventually you will see setting hours and setting minutes. That's pretty straightforward. Just click up and down to set the hours, then click right again, and it says setting minutes. Click up and down to set the minutes. The date the date should be right. Um, if it's not, send me a message over YouTube. Maybe I can help you. I'm not sure about that. Alright, so now you have a clock on your Zoom. And this method can be applied to games as well. Let me show you the page. Oh, well, this is this will be the last page I'll give you in the, um, the video description in YouTube. 
And this is just a list of all the games that are compatible with the Zune right now. Um, most of these games are like pre-beta, and some of them may work, some of them won't. Just make sure that everything works the same, as I said in the video. You don't you don't want to mess up your Zune, so just make sure everything says deploy in this. Don't publish anything. Just deploy. Let's say you download you downloaded four to win. Just make sure that it says deploy four to win, not publish it or anything else. If it doesn't say that, then don't bother doing it. And that ends this episode of tutorial of how to put an application or a game onto your Zune. And make sure you check out ftgradio.blogspot.com and lockoutgaming.net. Um, this is Schwanman, and I'm.